When I first saw Jonestown, I was very impressed. When I was introduced to the Reverend Jim Jones on my arrival, um, he appeared to be an ill man. He spoke um, during the course of that evening over dinner um, with an undercurrent of paranoia. In fact, he put a figurative gun in our hands, you know, saying that we as, as writers don't need to, um, to shoot him, that our words have that kind of effect. I asked him how he felt, and he said, I feel we're being destroyed from within. And what he meant by that was that at least one of these defectors, in all likelihood, was going to tell us what really was going on in Jonestown, and it, that it was not, it was not the paradise that he said it was. It was, in fact, more like a concentration camp. Congressman Ryan's party, along with the 15 defectors who had stepped forward, um, took a temple uh, dump truck six miles along a muddy, rutted road to the town of Port Kaituma, where there was a small airstrip. And while we were boarding two small planes, a tractor with a trailer full of temple gunmen returned to the strip, and they jumped out and began firing without warning. And uh, those of us on the ground uh, scrambled for cover. I tried to dive uh, to position my head behind a wheel of one of the planes. But as I hit the ground, um, bullets hit my left arm and, and uh, wrist and discovered that the congressman and four others were dead. Um, three of them newsmen, including photographer Greg Robinson of The Examiner, who was my partner. Uh, the shooting of Congressman Ryan was used to convince Jones's followers that they had no out, no place to go, that someone was going to come in and after them. And then he said, um, let's take the potion right now, bring it out. And then he had the, he commanded basically that the children die first. And by doing that, he, he sealed the fate of everyone else there.